Hello everyone, I'm John, this is Sean, All right. and this is Everyday Food Reviews, and today we have a new Burger King burger for you. Yeah, it's the uh, Chili Halloumi King. Oh, that's going out there. Oh. Um, so they, they've had the Halloumi King for a little while. Um, th this is a chili version of it. I asked in the restaurant that the only difference is this one has chili sauce on. Oh, I didn't know that. And it's 20p more, it's 5 99 I'm not the original. Neither have I. Mate, if this blows my head off, I'm gonna not be very happy with you. So, it's a double halloumi burger. Um, I will happily take mine apart because Sean, being the bad friend that he is, forgot to take my salad off. I did forget to take your salad off. Um, but it's okay because it means people can see. We went to the Winnick Burger King today and the service was incredible. There was a lad in there, I didn't get his name, but um, he asked me when, when I ordered three of these, I, I was asking him what, what the difference was between this and the, the normal one. And he said, oh, I think it's just the chilli sauce. He says, let me know um, what you think of it um, next time you're in, because I've, I've not had it before. I said, well, as it happens, I'm getting them for a review on YouTube, so um, I'll give you the channel and you can watch that. So Nice. He was... Oh, we might want some kitchen roll as well, sorry. Quick. He seemed... He seemed pretty happy with that, and I was pretty happy that he seemed happy. And... The, I, I used the app and got each of these with free fries. It was free regular fries, but they only had large bags. They give us large fries. And then he gave us uh, free drinks as well. So we've got from the dispenser there, you can select all the different flavors uh, and add flavors to existing drinks. So I got a uh, cherry vanilla added to Coke Zero. Um, we got three cups because my, my girlfriend's uh, with us as well and she wanted to try this burger. And um, the Coke Zero ran out halfway through, so we've got one that's Coke Zero, one that's half Coke Zero and half Diet Coke, and one that's Diet Coke, but they're all cherry vanilla, so we'll, we'll do a little review of that while, while, we're, while we're here, um, doing this. Mm. What, what, what are your first impressions? Um, it's definitely, it's definitely normal halloumi consistency. Has a little squeak on your teeth when you mm. chew it. Um, Chili sauce is actually, it's it's got a, it's got a bite to it. Yeah. Um, bit spi it's spicy, but it does it's not blow your head off. There's a lot of it on there. Do you know what as well, mate? I've, I would like you know I know I didn't go to Burger King today, so with the, on the service these are these burgers are a lot better put together. Yeah. Maybe it's because of the manageable pat halloumi patties. Yeah. Because they're uh, only bun size. You can see now that we've bitten into it, it's white in the middle. I was mm. a bit concerned that it didn't look anything like halloumi when it was kind of brownie, red, orange, like that on the outside. This onion's falling out. So is this um, is this fully vegan or is it, or is it again, still um, cooked on the broiler? Well, it won't be vegan because it's cheese. Oh yeah. But <laughs> <laughs> what? Um, as, as for whether it's uh, vegetarian or not, mm. or whether vegetarians are can- uh, That's what I meant. Yeah, um, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if it's cooked in the same way or if it's if it's fried or what. Um, it seems seems as though it's fried rather than cooked on the broiler. It doesn't have any grill marks from the broiler or anything. So mm. I'd imagine this would be vegetarian. It's actually really good. Mm. That's a, that's and it, even though it's only like too thin halloumi patties. It's uh, it's still quite you know. It's actually got a bit like a bit of substance. Yeah. To it, I'm th I've forgotten the word I was after, but no substance is good. Uh, the the brioche bun is really nice as well. Mm. That's nice and soft. Uh, like John said, the ch chili sauce definitely has a kick to it. It's not like a sweet chili or something. It's a proper chili sauce, mm. but it's not like blow your head off. It's it's not like proper spicy. If you, if you're not into spicy foods, you'll probably think it's hot. But if you are into spicy food, it's just a basic chilli sauce, but it, it is chilli and not sweet chilli, so that's, mm. that's nice. No, it, it's, it's actually, oh, squeak. <laughs> it's actually, it, it's a really good, I think it's a, it's quite a good burger for what it is. Like you say, the brioche bun is lovely. Mm. Um, the lahumi patties are really nice, well seasoned and, oh, it's, and, and cooked well. Chilli sauce is nice, not blow your head off, or, but like you say, if, if, if you're not into spice, mm. you might feel it is. No, oh, overall, I think it's, um, it, it really comes together quite nice. Yeah. 
and the, the, they've absolutely redeemed themselves in terms of um, service and accuracy compared to the last time. And presentation. There. And presentation. It's, um, I, I can't fault that. I mean, it, it doesn't look like the picture. It doesn't look as big, but the, the pictures are staged and yeah. fake, basically. Yeah, well, so, you're into photography, so you, yeah. you, you, you can, you know that. Um, it's, I'm, I'm, I'm quite surprised, to be honest. Maybe maybe when we went two for two last time at Burger King, we were a bit. I was a bit maybe mm. a bit unsure about it. I was reluctant to go back, but I did really really want to try this. Mm. Um, also, the last instance wasn't at the Winnick one. No, it was Saint Alan's one. Yeah, it? but we only went there because the Winnick one didn't even have the Impossible Whopper at the time. No, the Rebel Whopper. Rebel. Oh, yeah. It's all right. I've finished mine. It was that good. Oh um, yeah, I'll yeah, uh, have a look at this uh, cherry vanilla Coke. So it, it, it's normal Coke col colour, we got it in a Burger King cup, so you... It smells of... It literally smells like you've got uh, Cherry Diet Coke, or, or Cherry Coke Zero rather, because ch Cherry Diet Coke has a, a different kind of cherry flavour. Mm. It smells like Cherry Coke Zero mixed with Coke Zero Vanilla. I think I'm out of the Coke Zero one. I'm getting more vanilla from this than cherry, I think, but... But that's just the smell. What, what what do you think of it? How's it taste? It tastes good. Um, it's not. It, it's it's all right. I, I sometimes think the flavored draft sodas um, fall down in my estimation mm. uh, a lot more than say from a can or from a bottle. I just feel like. I mean, it's not their fault. It's the way they're told to do it. But in in, in fast food restaurants, I think it's uh, it gets. I don't want to say watered down. Because obviously it has to be watered down a little bit because it's just, if, if you don't know, it's like a box yeah. of syrup and they put soda water through it to, and that's how they make your cup drink. Um, but yeah, I just think, I just think, well, I'm actually really impressed. Uh, just try that one, see if it is because you've got a bad one because of how we... Try mine, see what you think, if that's a bad one. Yeah, that doesn't taste much at all. I think we've... You've probably got the Coke Zero one as it was running out. Right. So that one tastes a lot better to me. I don't think yours tastes of anything either. Oh, okay, I'll have mine back then. I'll prefer it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm actually really impressed with this. I like it. I think that's why, I, I think, going back to what I say, like, I think cup drinks, they, they always do fall down in my estimations. Either the flavour doesn't come through enough or they taste a bit too watered down or... I find the vanilla's coming through mm. as much as a can of vanilla Coke Zero. Mm. The, ch the cherry less so, but the vanilla is definitely there. I think it's a good drink. We'll have to agree to disagree on that one. Uh, but like I say, I think most cup drinks, all the ones I've ever had, the only one I've ever had that I really like, would get consistently everywhere is Cherry Max from um, KFC, Pepsi Max Cherry. Yeah, that's the only one I ever think is consistent. Maybe because cherry's an a big a big flavour. Yeah. I don't know if Pepsi do things different either. Yeah. But, yeah, th 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 it's, it's okay. It, I'd, I'd smash it to wash down my burger, but I would yeah. like, I, it's not something I would go out of my way for and get, which I have done before Yeah, uh, for Pepsi Max Sherry at KFC. But, um, no, but like you say, Dave, I think Burger King have redeemed themselves a little yeah, bit. Yeah, um, definitely. It's, st it's still five ninety nine for a burger, or five ninety nine for a burger with free chips if you got the app. Um which is a bit on the expensive side, but I know vegetarian options are limited, and the, I think I feel like this halloumi burger's uh, something special. Presumably, the other one that they re released months ago, that's just the same but without the chili sauce, is just as good. Um, but I think the chili would be amazing if you could get one of those like halloumi patties on a whopper. I'm sure they might be able to. Well, you, you mean like a whop a whopper. Burger and, the, uh, and then halloumi, yeah. halloumi patty and then normal say, like, cheese and stuff like that. I'd love that. Yeah, because this is basically a whopper but with halloumi instead of the. Yeah, yeah, but the, I mean yeah, like so a, a whopper. Like one of each. Yeah. I'm sure they would if you asked them. Mm -hmm, I'm sure. And that's the motto, have it your way. Yeah. I mean, I, they've never really let me down whenever I've asked for yeah. certain extras that I want. So, you know, maybe, that, maybe that's something else we can test. Um, just, just before we wrap this up, I want to bring attention to a few things. Uh, firstly, the uh, banner. Oh yeah, we had at the start uh, that was given to John as a gift. Yeah, it was a little birthday present. It yeah. was my birthday uh, last week, and 
my brother and his girlfriend and my niece made that for me uh, as a banner. We so will try and put it up in yeah, places when we're recording. Put it up here or something. Uh, I don't want to ruin my walls, but if if we can't, then we might do that a couple of times, or yeah. if we can put it behind us in the car here. No, yeah. I'm, I really like it. It's, it's, it's nice. It's a nice thought. Um, the, the other thing is, um, I've been in Grimsby this week, and I've been doing some videos on my own just of energy drinks. Um, I'll be in Grimsby again next week, so I'll probably be mm. doing that. I don't it's know. usually just like a backlog of... Yeah, loads of stuff Sean's come across <laughs> and just been like, either discount stuff or like just yeah, weird and stuff that... that I'm not really not overly bothered about yeah reviewing because I actually don't drink uh, you know contrary to maybe popular <laughs> belief I don't drink that much caffeine I yeah. just have just have the regular you know the mainstream mainstream uh, energy drinks yeah uh, that everyone gets hold of so and if if I'm doing them most days or most mornings while I'm in unless there's yeah. something really interesting you, yeah. you know we said that we won't unless we're together and, and really and, and it's really interesting that yeah you can do it on your own so but that's good unless yeah if, if I'm doing those most mornings while I'm in Grimsby and I'm going to be there often then we'll end up with a backlog of those videos mm. so w whenever we haven't got a video to upload or something we can upload some of them it, it means yeah. there's going to be more energy drink videos on the channel but the alternative would be just less videos on the channel it's not or like no doing, videos if yeah we, if we've not been able to get together for yeah. a week or two um, i don't feel like we're doing that at the expense of anything else it's just it's more videos um i know they're less good i'm doing it on my selfie camera <coughs> i've not got the the lights or anything to take to the hotel rooms or anything so i, I know objectively mm. the quality is less but i mean if if you'd rather we just well, to, to be honest, I don't care if you'd rather we didn't do them, because if, if you don't like them, just don't watch yeah. them. I'll do them anyway. So. Also, um, we do have, like, an Instagram. Oh, yeah. Yeah, um, we've, got, we've got an Instagram. So, the, a couple of weeks ago, I was in London. Uh, we, without Sean, it was just with a, a, a different group of friends. It was my girlfriend's friends. Um, and we went for afternoon tea at a restaurant in London. Yeah. And a few things. So, I, I took some pictures and sent them to Sean. So, you know, if you're interested in what we're eating and drinking day to day. Yeah, I, I try and... Especially if it's different. I, I try and post things on there just like uh, energy drinks that don't warrant a review or yeah, yeah. just food I'm getting while I'm out and about and I, I, I feel like I want to say something about it but I don't want to do a review. Um, I think we'll, we'll flash it up because I can't remember even what it is. I think it's at Everyday Food Reviews. Yeah, yeah. Or we'll put it at the beginning as well just yeah. in case people don't get this far in the video. Yeah, which <laughs> I think it's most people to be fair. But yeah, I think but, yeah. we'll definitely... Uh, re uh, rating? Rating. Um... Without considering value, it'd probably be a eight or a nine. But considering how expensive it is, it's probably going to be more like six or seven. Yeah, I was gonna, I was gonna say a six. Overall, it's a good burger, but value really just lets it down. Yeah. I think that's that's similar with most stuff at Burger King. Yeah, but yeah. I think yeah, compared to other things at Burger King, it gain gain a point or two based on the sort of average there. That's all similar value, mm. just because it's um, it's so different. Like the McDonald's. KFC, they, they don't do halloumi burgers, no, no one else does that. You need to go to like a, a proper restaurant rather than somewhere you just pass in and you can get it to take away for your lunch or whatever. Mm. So it might, um, You could maybe uh, compare it to McDonald's filet of fish because no one else does it. You know, just stuff, you know, different options. Yeah. It's not vegetarian, I know, but some vegetarians will eat fish as well, so, you know. Yeah, the pescatarians. Yeah. Um, and Meal Deal Minus actually argues that the... Um, layer fish is in fact vegan as long as you don't get it with a plastic straw <laughs> because the not using a plastic straw and saving the fishes balances out with getting the player fish okay. which I think is an interesting argument he's, he's a funny guy I like his channel a lot <laughs> I've, I've, I've watched all of his videos I, I, w I wish he uploaded more often because I love his channel he, he reviews meal deals and he, he yeah just what 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 search Meal Deal Minus, M-I-N-A-S, I think. He's, he's brilliant. He's on YouTube. Mm. He's <laughs> so, yeah, uh, I think we wrapped it up there. Yeah. Thanks very much for joining us. We'll see you next time. Cheers.